Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. A fish worthy to leave on, perhaps? I'm thinking yes, it is definitely a fish worthy to leave on. On oh, the big mahoff, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That is a beauty there. That is a beauty. Hey there, welcome to Jersey Jim Fish. Fishmonger Jim here. This morning I was supposed to go fishing with Mayor Scott, but he got uh, called in to work. Poor guy's got to go fishing today. He got called in to work to go fishing. So, yeah, real happy that Scotty's going fishing today. Truly, I am. Guy gets paid to go fishing. Who could ask for anything more out of life than to be paid to do what you love to do? Uh, yeah, this morning I am in uh, South Jersey. I think we're in Winslow. At, we're, going, we're headed to a lake called uh, Oak Pond. This water is ridiculously clear. Wait till the sun comes up a little more and I'll show you. It's fantastic. Uh, hopefully there's some fish. I think uh, some of the reviews, reviews on a lake, that kind of blew my mind this morning. Oh yeah, the lake didn't treat me well. Because like Jersey Jim, I suck at fishing. No fish. That was one of the reviews. <laughs> okay, well, admittedly, you don't know how to fish. I think that's what that would mean. Or you don't know how to fish that body of water. So, yeah, reviews on a lake. They were right, though. Really clear water. This is like There's a little school of yellow perch right under the kayak. Nothing to do with this. They're the first fish I've seen. I did see a trout. I assume it was a trout. Surface over that away. This is kind of neat. It's a very visual experience. Oh, the one's behind it. Quit. change it up here. I got a real tiny, tiny hook here and a gulp. One of these twister tail. A split shot. Too big. The split shot's way too big, but that's all I got with me. And we're gonna see about I'm pulling a rabbit from a hat before I go to another lake. So if you are considering Coming to fish at Oak Lake, a beautiful lake, like really quite spectacular. A lot of, a lot of trails, roads all around it. Very scenic. A little bit of highway noise in the distance, and and uh, the power lines. Beautifully clear water. Lots of spots on the shoreline that you could access the water to swim. However, if you want to. utilize Oak Lake as a fishing destination, you will. You will inevitably have to bring your own fish because it is pretty well devoid of life with regards to fish. So yeah, I'm gonna salvage what I can of the morning See if I can't go catch crappie at the crappie lake. Or maybe I'll check Google Maps and uh, see if there's another lake nearby that I haven't fished yet. But probably the crappie lake. I gotta, I gotta work the next few days and I gotta make this day count. So 
I don't know, I'll see you at another lake in a second. And there are all kinds of minnows up here in the shallows. There was actually some kind of predatory fish that I spooked right there. I considered getting back in the kayak. All this is like a foot and a half uh, feet, yeah, a foot and a half deep all around these reeds and they stretch all the way across to the other side very shallow I considered that's probably where the trout are the predatory fish but I don't know I mean I don't I'm not gonna keep the trout I just want to catch a fish and I wanted to see Oak Lake so I could check both of them off and go target crappie I think that is the game plan. Well, how about it? The uh, the crappie lake is only ten minutes away from here. That's that's um, that's stupendous. And it's not even nine o'clock in the morning yet. So this right here is on the way to the crappie lake. It's a lake called New Brooklyn. And apparently there are quite a few. Like it's a really good um, pickerel fishery. I'm thinking I'm pickerel fishing. Yeah, I've never never fished this before. Hey, maybe we'll give that a whirl. Maybe we'll give it a whirl. I think this is New Brooklyn. Any luck? Up. Did you? Yeah. This is uh, New Brooklyn Lake. Good pick. Pickerel pic heaven. Pick heaven. <laughs> I'm sold. I was on my way to. Uh, All right. It's been like seven casts. Boom. Boom! I'm a pickle. Oh. <sighs> Why'd you have to go and do that? Come on now. Calm yourself, please. Oh, he's got a bite mark on his side. Look at that. Oh, he narrowly escaped. There you go, John. Beauty. Wow, this water's cold. 50. Iona was 55, if I'm not mistaken, 52. It's quite deep. Oh, I just saw a fish come up way over there. It's kind of deeper here than I was told. Yeah, here's the thing. The guy that told me about this place said that it's extremely shallow. Like, you could stand in the whole lake guy that told me about uh, guy that told me about Oak Lake said that it was very deep and spring fed you know, I said at the uh, at departing from the last lake from Oak Lake you never know until you know and now you know that's uh, had I not invested the time to go there and and figure it out it would just be a fable you know like even the the northern pike being at at Union Lake nah no northern pike at Union I mean maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm wrong but they were never stocked there it's not to say they can't possibly be there but thinking because this is so deep and the water's kind of cold until the sun starts warming up the water unless I can find some shallow spots maybe I go subsurface with a big paddle tail wow a little spike a little little spike always a bigger fish. There's always a bigger fish. 
pretty impressed I caught it on that big that big paddle tail. That takes skill. Not just good looks. <laughs> Gotta be a bigger fish. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, you can go. You're free to go, sir. Oh, I think I only have eight pound liter material on here. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, I just chased another, I scared another one off. Pickerel Heaven. This is Pickerel Heaven, New Brooklyn, Brooklyn Lake. I was gonna say he got heavier. I think he picked up some weeds. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, that's the nicest one I've caught so far. Oh, he choked it too. Is that number four in Less than 20 minutes. Definitely less than 20 minutes for pickerel. Uh, I don't know, three and a half. That one was pretty small. get eaten. Good thing I have a lot of paddle tails. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. There are so many pickerel back here. It's like I hook into a fish and like five fish between me and that fish tear ass. It's the biggest one so far. You are free to go, sir. Have yourself a fine day. I didn't want a picture or any. Well, I did get the video of it. I don't know, maybe I'll leave the camera on for a minute. I actually ran out of ran out of SD card when I was at Iona because it was kind of the same dealio there. Just every cast. Oh, he's up behind it. He's behind it. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's behind it again. This is a marginally nicer fish. I think we need the net for this one. Well, maybe not. cold poor guy said he was fishing uh, oh, yesterday caught three fish had a good day he said caught three fish that's number number seven or eight look at the uh, the pattern in the cheek I tried to get this last time I'm so glad I didn't waste my time all day long at uh like if there was any potential if I got even a single hit I would have spent my entire day pursuing nothing at uh Oak Lake nice place but pickerel pickerel <laughs> so I took a minute and tied up some 14 pound fluoro shock leader because there's always a bigger fish oh yeah oh yeah that's a bigger fish oh that's a beauty that's picture worthy there I mean not the the biggest the biggest biggest one I've caught of late but uh, today after the oh it's only 10 o'clock what 
Yeah, after uh, wasting my time this morning at that lake, this is a very, very welcome fish. You're gonna be all right, my friend. He was hooked really well too, right through the top jaw, the upper palate. They're getting bigger. See you, buddy. <laughs> John over there waving. Poor guy. Landlocked John. I'm thinking I'd rather I'd rather catch a pickerel than a crappie. What? How did that happen? The pickerel just went up a couple levels in fish I want to catch. Because this is this is way better than slow jigging on snags. You know, like the pickerel's a good eating fish, or the, the crappie rather. This is visually stimulating. They fight well. They're toothy. And they are plentiful, man. They are plentiful. Easy to catch. I think that's probably why I like them. I, clearly there was like three of them that moved when that fish hit. So let's see if this one works. Watch this. Oh, yeah. He just, he's from like 12 feet away. Get it. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, he's not all that nice. But... Decent. That's uh, number nine, number nine, number nine. John is pissed over there. See you, buddy. That was me one time, standing on the shore, watching other people catch fish. Why would you do that? Like, I'm 50 years old, crippled with arthritis and riddled with back pain and and handsomeness why would you spend your time if it is truly your intention to catch fish and not have the proper tools to catch fish I'm a kayak snob just to be clear absolutely it's a fantastic experience oh from five feet away get it get it get it right so as of two days ago John, my brother, went back into the hospital and as of the night before last, they had stabilized him and figured out what was going on and everything seemed clear and there was a direction to go. And I just got news today, right now, that I just walked in things have again taken a, a very very dramatic turn for the worse 